a beautiful morning we've got our sharky three combo right here and we have got our chase baits super lifelike shrimp flick prawn whatever you want to call it let's get something done today guys i'm super excited i haven't been out on the kayak in a long time actually see what happens start off fishing these docks and try and get little pattern going for today. All right guys, so pretty much what I'm doing right now is just sitting back and letting the wind drift me. I know the wind's pretty, it's not howling right now like it was in South Florida, but it's uh, still enough to blow this little kayak around. So I'm just gonna kind of let it take me down this dock line here and fish the rest of these shadows. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, f don't go under me. Yo, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. You're huge. What's up? Don't flip me, man. Guy, you scare me. Came right up under me. I snuck. I was about to head out. And this guy crushed it. Gotta give this dock one more try here. Whew. Look at that guy. It's like kind of the size of the other small one I caught earlier. They're just loving that jelly flick prawn. Still catching them. I've probably caught like, I mean, I've hooked like 20 fish on this one bait. Lost a few, but another 16 inch or so. Way. Little baby red. No way. Oh my gosh. This bait has caught the triple crown in one day, guys. You saw it. Stick <laughs> the head on this beautiful freaking fish. Beautiful. Same bait, same day, guys. No live bait needed. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I just love the colors on these guys. All right. I'm pumped. I'm getting really hot, though. It's the heat of the day right now, though, and the fish are still biting, guys. I'm gonna literally fish until I lose this flick prawn, see how many fish I can get on it. Oh my god. Two like 30 inch snook followed this freaking prawn right up to me. And I was just dangling it in the water like this and they were just staring at it. Tiniest movement of the rod and spooked them instantly. I'm just gonna keep the camera on though because we know there's fish here. <laughs> this super shallow stuff, still big snook and redfish. Alright, I guess we'll go try this little like lagoon lake thing, or I guess it's more like a canal. Super skinny. Yeah, explore this for a second. Might be some tarpon rolling in here. All right, guys. So we are coming up on our last stretch of docks for the day. The 
these ones also look really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and give them a try. Must have been something with teeth that bit the tail off. Like a sheep's head or something. That's a nice one though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Nice snook. Just kind of hold myself on the stock here. There we go. He hit it a couple times. Finally got him. Stick. Beautiful. Flick prawn does it again. That's another, that's a 20 plus incher, 22 incher. Annihilated that thing. Look at that hook set. No way he was getting out of there. Whew. Absolute fight though, getting him out of these docks. So much freaking fun. I'm sure we can catch a couple more fish this size or bigger if you keep hitting this dock line. Suck on my thumb. The reviver did before I let her go. There she goes. So I literally just threw it back in the same exact spot. There's another one down there. Whenever you catch one, stick to that dock. And not only that, stick to the exact spot you caught that fish because a lot of times there's schooling fish. Got him. See that? That was super quick. Not as big as the other one. Still a beautiful fish. Oh no, it's a trout. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, yeah, snook are fun, but yeah. Trout, are you kidding me? I love trout. That's a huge freaking gator trap. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh my God. I thought for sure it was a snook because I just caught that snook on the same spot. Like I was saying, guys, Always cast back into the same spot. Ow, 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 ow. Don't release these guys like that. Don't really, don't try and thumb these things. They call them gator trout for a reason. His teeth. Oh, that could have been more perfect right there. That feels like red. Yes, another red fish. Yes. That's awesome. Not as big as the last one. I knew there had to be one under there. Beautiful red fish. Look at the colors of bronze on this guy. Absolutely gorgeous fish right there. Look at that. Eat that flake prawn. Guys, camera's about to die. Let's get this guy back. Beautiful little rat red fish. Felt him staying close to the bottom. I was like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's not a snuck. All right guys, so we're on a roll. This is definitely like the most action I've gotten all year in shore fishing in general. We caught like two, two slams already. We've got trout, redfish, tarpon, snook. Um, 
and a sheep's head. Don't forget the sheep's head. I don't know why I wasn't recording. Just got a nice freaking snook. Bigger than the first one. No, 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 no. Okay, he's got a little bit bigger. <laughs> out of there. Oh. I gotta keep him out of these trees. Probably looks so stupid trying to kick around in this little thing. Oh my god. Nice freaking snook. On the flick prawn yet again. No, 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 no. You need to get out of there. Oh, he's off. No, he's not. Oh, he's still on. He's still freaking on. I got him out. I got him out. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's get the net on this freaking monster right here. Holy crap. Oh my god. He barely freaking fits in the net. Oh my god. <laughs> right there I'm gonna actually get paddle over to these rocks and measure him because I need to see how long this freaking fish is this is a freaking monster I'm shaking right now guys 28 incher absolute slob there is the fish right there Whew. Put up a freaking fight, I'll tell you that much. I thought it was a lot bigger than 28. It's a little 28 incher, guys. Beautiful. Especially when you're fishing ultralight tackle, guys, and you have a long fight like that on these little rods. These fish really, really wear themselves out. Um, I think they have a pretty quick immune system just because of how fast they get worn out, how fast they can fight, how fast they hit. They just go all out. Kind of like a cheetah when they can run super, super fast just for a little bit of time and then they get worn out really easily. So always make sure to revive these guys. Oh yeah. She's good. Wow. I'm absolutely blown away by how good Chase Baits has made their flick prawns, guys. I still have the bait. I've caught like 20 fish on it, at least over that now. And I still got it with me. So huge shout out to Chase Baits. Awesome freaking lures. Check them out. I think that about wraps up today, guys. I might fish a couple docks on the way out, but <laughs> I still got my flick prawn. I'm super hot, super tired, running out of water. So I'm gonna pretty much call it quits. Go get a Slurpee or something cool off. <laughs> And also a shout out to Cast King Rods and Reels. This is the <clears throat> this is the Sharky 3 combo that I've been using. 15 pound braid. It's been working pretty dang pretty dang good for us today. That's a giant. Another one. Done. Oh my. There goes my last Chase Bait shrimp. Um, 
broke me off on the 40 pound. Put the link in the description for chase baits and my casting rod reel and line below. Guys, I love you all. So like I said, guys, I'm extremely surprised how many fish you can catch with literally two plastic baits. That's all we used today. We did end up losing them both because I was fishing super light, but that could have been easily avoided if I had heavier leaders and stuff like that. But all in all, we still landed a ton of fish before we lost our baits. Definitely outfished live bait for sure. I mean, $20 with a live shrimp probably would have caught the same amount of fish, if not less. That's the cool thing about Chase Baits, guys. Check them out. Guys, I love you all. Um, if you want to go ahead and leave a like for the video. If not, go ahead and subscribe. Anyways, guys, until next time, tight lines. Stay tuned for next week's episode. It's going to be insane.